Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here again with Droid Life. So I've got Pixel XL over here, Pixel 2 XL here. And of course, I've got these in hand because, well, Google just dropped Android P Developer Preview 4 on us, or better known as Android P Beta 3. I know the numbering is kind of confusing, but they dropped it on us. I've got it up and running on Pixel 2 XL. Still got Beta 2 or DP3 on Pixel XL. Just want to show you some of the new changes to it because there's one thing in particular that's actually something we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, not a huge update, but let's dive into this. This is what's new in Android P Developer Preview 4. Really, this is a pretty small update. This is almost a stable build. I believe it's a it's it's a release candidate or at least very, very close to it. There shouldn't be a lot of bugs here. We're getting almost to that final release. We got one more developer preview five probably coming over the next month or so, and then we'll get stable. And typically that happens around August. So if you've been holding off on flashing this, this is clearly the most stable version yet. So anyway, let's talk about what's new. The, the biggest thing is a dark theme. Now, in the past, well, in previous releases, you've been able to adjust the color of, well, this app drawer, and then of course your notification shade to be either light or dark. Of course, that all depended on your wallpaper in the past. If you had a lighter wallpaper, this is clearly considered lighter, you get a lighter shade. If it's a darker or almost black wallpaper, then everything turns dark. Well, in this preview, we actually are able to manually change that. So if we go into settings, display, pop down, advanced, go down, there is now a device theme option. And you can see right there, it's set to automatic if you want to have that just adjust based on your wallpaper or you can force it light or force it dark so if i tap on that you'll see it's now dark and i didn't change my wallpaper and if i slide in here dark in there as well so you can now have a light wallpaper and a dark drawer or notification area yay we've been waiting so long for this we knew it was coming but it's actually finally here all right so in terms of other stuff the the rest of it's, it really is minor so uh if we swipe up here we still got this navigation gesture um so you can slide across here to go back in between apps slide it once it does a just a quick between the last two apps you have open none of that's really changed uh you will notice down here though this back button it is now just a sort of open bracket sort of half triangle thing in previous builds it was a triangle now it's just a eh, eh, you know that sort of thing it's just a arrow pointing that way to go back so we didn't get rid of it yet even though a little gesture swiping that way on the home button could certainly work in place of a back but this is where we're at so they did change that um, if we just swipe up here and get into this preview uh, this hasn't changed a lot these cards up here might be slightly bigger um, but for the most part what you'll notice is if i press if i press and hold down here to get between this ui you'll notice the the bar slides all the way back and forth from edge to edge, where previously it was just kind of a little slider that went about this far. Now you can go all the way over and keep sliding. Um, also, if you do this, just one gesture, you'll notice the cards are, they're bigger. They take up most of the screen when you do this single swipe. So they it used to drop down into a shrunken preview that was about this big. Now when you swipe it, it's that big. Again, these are minor changes, but they are changes. Uh, I'll, I'll show you, actually, I'm gonna go turn dark mode off so we can um, get back into a cleaner look for you guys. So anyway, we'll go light. Uh, if we swipe down notification area though, you'll notice some notification icons or some quick settings icons have changed. Like the flashlight, it's no longer filled in. It's more of an outline icon. Same with the battery saver, uh, same with auto rotate. They're just tweaking icons. Apparently this is a new material thing, it, it, whatever. And you also notice it with the settings icon, which is still ridiculously hidden behind a second swipe. I wish they would change that. Uh, and also the edit quick settings area button is also now sort of an outline of an icon instead of a solid icon. Not a big deal. Uh, if we jump into settings, you'll notice that theme throughout. So for example, the accounts and security icons, those are no longer a filled in lock or a filled in accounts person icon they're outlines of icons okay so the, again these aren't huge but these are happening and if you go into storage same thing see lots of outlines of icons rather than filled in icons uh one thing i want to show you is if i rotate my phone this way the rotate arrow let's see if i can get that to pop up again the rotate arrows are now well they're rotate arrows instead of a phone sort of switching so if you want to force rotate you now just tap on those two arrows and it'll force rotate and if we flip back it'll do that as well you guys remember that it used to be a phone icon that switched now it's a couple of arrows uh one thing i did think that was an interesting addition is if we go into sound you'll notice there's an additional volume slider there for call volume at least i do believe this is new you've now got me you've got media 
ring and alarm volume. Now you actually have a separate slider for call. So if you do adjust volume though, it still does media by default. And then if you want to vibrate silent or have your ringer on, you still tap that. If you want to adjust the actual call volume, go into this section or just jump on a call and adjust your volume it should work as well. But there is now four different volumes you can manually adjust from within the sound settings. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Again, I told you there's not a lot of new stuff here. You know, if I long press, this UI still looks the same. Nothing's really changed in here. You can still long press on icons. That's all there. It's, it's Android P. It's very stable at this point, although I haven't tested NFC. So we'll have to see if that's been enabled now for NFC payments. Has It's been off in previous previews. That's pretty much it, though. Uh, if we find other things, we have a post I will link to down below. And uh, it's constantly updating with anything we do find. So, uh let us know what you think. Uh, you like an Android P now? Does it feel more stable or using it daily on whatever Pixel phone you owned or maybe a central phone? They push an update to that too. Let us know. Otherwise, we are Droid Life. Peace.